What is going on everybody here we all doing and welcome back today to the original Road to Glory on FIFA 17. I mentioned it today I put one of these out that I wasn't going to do them quite as frequently unless you showed a lot of support on that video. It was going to, only going to be once a week but you absolutely smashed a thumbs up on the last one so here we are again a couple of days later with a Road to Glory episode. Career mode fans do not worry that will be coming back in a day or two's time but um yeah, we're back on the original Red's Glory. Once again, if you do enjoy this episode, want to see more of this series, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on this video. Again, if we can get this over 25 likes, that would be absolutely incredible. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And one thing I never, ever mention, but I should do more often, is um, if you're watching this on your phone, there's actually a little button you can press, a little bell on the channel, and that will mean that every time I put a video up, then it will alert you. I'll send a notification to the front of your phone so you'll never miss a video. Do that. If you screenshot it and tag, tag me on it on Twitter, I'll be sure to retweet some of those and uh, reply to all that kind of stuff so make sure to do that as well but uh, today we're coming back with I think this is episode number 14 of the Road to Glory we're going to be playing a couple more games in divisions I think we're in division 7 right now are we is it division 7 division 7 yeah we had a very up and down episode last time mate. we won one drew one and lost one be sure to check that out if you haven't already I'll put a link to that in the um, top right and corner of the screen now but there's a couple of things one thing that I've completely forgot to mention last time out that I want to talk about and another that's a bit of new news. So uh, this is the team that we're using last time. We're going to stick with this until Ben Arthur runs out of contract. So this is probably going to be going for this, this episode and one more after that. However, we have also got this silver sort of reward for the uh, it was from the monthly rewards in the the, the weekend league. I completely forgot to mention this last time. He's untradeable and it's uh, Stanislas. So we got kind of lucky really because he's Premier League and although he's not an amazing card, he is someone who can fit into a team quite comfortably and that's what we're going to be doing next time out or when this team ends the Ben Arfalon one where we're building the team around Stanislas and also I've invested and I mean we all know the last investment so it didn't go very well at all in uh, this informed Serge Canabry. if you didn't see it yesterday I did a review on this guy on the channel absolutely love him and I picked him up for 20,000 just over coins and I feel like when he goes out of packs, he might creep up in value a little bit. So he might be able to make a little bit of profit on him. He's currently going for around 22k as I record this. But up to that point, we'll be building a team around these two next time out. So it'll be a silver-themed team almost. But for now, we're going to just use them as super subs. But um, that's going to end off the nattering at the start of this video. We're going to jump into our next game in Division 7. Hopefully pick up three points. Let's jump into it, lads. Here we are then, lads. The first game of today's episode. We're coming up against Ivory Toast. He's got Moose. He's got Wilson. He's got uh, Barkley. Very, very average BPL team, EPL team. He has got Smalling at the back, who often causes me nightmares. But um, hopefully we can pick up three points here. I'm looking to get a little bit more into that informed play. He was okay last time there, but hopefully he can be a little bit more impressive today. I'll tell you what, please, man. A decent start here. He's going to cut inside. Get out of my way. Please, go another way. And it's a decent save from his keeper. That's a positive start to the game, lads. That's a poor ball from this guy. We pounced on it. Still going up the top. Come on. This has got to be 1 0. Put that into the net. It's a casual finish, and we've taken the lead very early on. As soon as we kicked off, it's Hatton Ben Arthur. We've been on the front foot, and it's Ben Arthur with the cheekiest little finish back across the keeper into the corner, and it's an early lead. This is a good start to the episode, lads. This is a positive sign. In that first one to play. Oh my god, look at the space of play. This has got to be 2 0. Please, please play. Yes, lads, 2-0 up, and that's what we need to see from play. Last episode there, he got a few chances, and he wasn't putting them in. This is the first real chance he's had in the game, and he slots it away. We have just... Oh, this guy's been blown away. How long have we been playing? 10 minutes have just gone. We're in the 11th, and we are absolutely dominated. Won the ball in the middle of the park. Quick ball in behind to play, and he just finesses it past the keeper. 2-0. Hopefully, we don't have a repeat of last episode, and don't throw this away. Come on. One more. Oh, tried to go alone. Is this guy quitting? What's going on here? We just got a spinning circle. I, if this if this kicks me out of this game, I will be annoyed because we are cruising right now. Come on, what's going on? This guy quit. Thank God for that. Sometimes this game just kicks me off the service for no reason whatsoever without any warning. This time, this guy just appeared to quit. Don't know why. He was just in the middle of defending there. But we will take the 2-0 win. Let's jump into the next one. Here we go then, lads. Game number two. And he is rocking up with a... Uh, I appreciate that link from Embakane to Bakambo. That uh, that DR Congo link. It's a uh, pretty nice team, actually. He's got Pedro in there. He has got Zahar in there. It's, not, it's, it's an okay team. But I am appreciating that link right there. Just throwing that out there. Let's make a positive start. We started the last game. We came out of the box really quickly. Let's do the same again, please. 
positive start. Start. It's a positive start. Oh my god, the dribbling. The dribbling. Surely not an early lead again. To Pirola. The follow up. Oh my god, how have we missed? It should have been 1 0 straight away. Oh, great. Tackle high at the pitch. Get it round the corner. Can we spin inside here? We can. Lay that off to somebody. Put it in. Oh my god, how are we not winning this game? The hoot's going to go short. Can we do here? We're going to keep on dropping inside. Got a ball roll. Still going. That's got to be. Surely this time, finally, one and up. It's the third clear cut chance, if you like, as they call it on Football Manager, that we've had. Finally taken the lead. And of all people, it's Vendel Wendell. He always comes short for the corners, and he doesn't often have the final third for it, but he did there. Slots into the corner. We've had two great chances already before that one. Take a deserved lead, lads. Get in there. To who to bring it out? Drop inside, oh Dehoud, this is why I like him, he's just so weavy, he's so weavy, Dehoud still going, Dehoud, oh my god, we've got to go alone now, I think we've got to, oh, he's just put it wide, oh, Bob, he's done alright, he's been fouled, how is that not a foul, there's no advantage player then, that's crazy, this, this guy just cannot defend, this guy just cannot defend, look how open he is, we're going to sweat this to make sure, and it's 2-0 lads, we are absolutely bossing it right now, this guy, sometimes you play against someone and you just know they cannot defend and this guy is just a prime example of that. We've absolutely ripped through him with Corb down the right hand side. We played it inside and then we just sweat it across to make sure we get the goal. We're not giving anything stupid away. Not today. And we've taken a 2-0 lead and it's uh, Alessane Plea again on the score sheet. Ah, uh, he's just bobbled through there. Get rid of that. Oh, well. 2-1. I swear to God we gave away a similar goal last time. It's ridiculous. I'm pressing to clear it. I am pressing now, so it's partly my fault, but you're thinking he's going to head it out, and he's just, like, laid it off to him, basically. Very annoying goal to concede, but if you keep on playing like we're playing, touch wood. I don't know curse anything here. We are dominating. We should not throw this game away. Look at this, though. It's awful. Why don't you just, just head it out? Don't put it on a plate for him. I right, played. Stop that cross. Beautiful. Okay. Not again, surely. What is going on? This guy is definitely not quit. He's trying to defend. This is exactly what happened last time. It didn't seem like the guy quit, but it kicked him out, apparently. Is this going to be me being kicked? Again, connection has been lost. I'm going to get the win for this. This guy 100% did not quit then. I don't know what's going on. Clearly, the EA servers are very volatile right now. I mean, you could say we're a bit lucky there because it was only 2-1 and we're going to come away with the win, but we were comfortable. I don't understand what it's doing. It makes me a bit worried that it's going to happen to us because clearly something is going on with the servers. They are not supposed to be leaving like that because there's no way both players quit there. That is crazy. Here we go. The lads jump in into the third and final game of today's episode and this guy's definitely got the strongest team out of all that we've played. He's got Shakiri, Lukaku, Sterling. He's got Lalon, who's very good on this game. Ramsey, Mata, uh, Mustafi, Williams, Klein, Azpilicueta and Karius in between the sticks. This could potentially be the shortest ever Road to Glory recording so I'm currently only on 24 minutes and we're going into the third game. This has been crazy. Oh, that was dirty, and we've come out with the ball as well after you absolutely now just Ben Arthur, make the running side. Make that running side, Ben Arthur, he has, it's beautiful, we're going to try, I tried to sweat it, oh, I'll tell you what though, it's a great save by Karius afterwards. Play, nicely done, still play, oh, it's such filth, he keeps on just sliding in, breaking up the play, fortunately, that time he read the slide, but he's absolutely polaxed, he's going to go into the book for his worries, Mustafi going for a yellow there. Ben Arthur, what are your free kick stats like? Not half bad. Let's just go for it with Ben Arthur. Why not? We don't get these opportunities very often. Let's try and bend this one in. Oh my god! What a goal! That's him, Ben Arthur! I was saying we don't get these opportunities very often. What an absolute strike that is! Holy shit! That was an absolute cannon. With this this year on FIFA, when you take a free kick, you don't know if it's in until the keeper dives, dived so late there. You don't know until a split second after whether it's in or not because of that camera angle change. What a goal, Ben Arthur. Give and go, give and go, play. Well played, come on. Can we spin here? Nice little roulette. Gone back inside. Oh, it's opening up for play. Let's go across. Goal! What a goal that is in. It's two in quick succession. We've scored the great free kick from Ben Arthur. He's kicked off, lost the ball, and we've just absolutely rifled one in with play in this episode right now. 
He's looking like perfection. It's going to be through his head to three if this keeps up. Look at this. Just came his eye after the little roulette. Smashed it across the goalkeeper. We are flying right now. Yeah, I, I may have just realised that the camera ran out before that goal. I don't know if you saw the Ben Arthur goal reaction. I'm hoping it did, but uh, hello again, lads. No. Oh, for God's sake. I was messing around with the camera, wasn't it? That just serves me right. I was casually messing around with the camera. And then he's banging in the head with Lukaku. This game's not over yet. Come on. Oh, that round the corner. It's just flowing right now, lads. Sometimes FIFA just flows. And that... Oh, my God. Ben Arthur has just done him dirty. It's got to be 3-1. Shut... Ben Arthur. What are you doing? What are you doing? Plea has been a changed man from the last episode. He's looked so threatening every time we come forward. Let's go for another one with him. Good effort. Get that in. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's offside anyway. He was offside anyway. What an effort that was, though. Or is it? Oh, my God. That was a great chance. It is half-time. The first game has actually gone to half-time in today's episode, unbelievably. Very bizarre recording, if that's what you want to call it. Ben Arthur looked really, really good. We're actually going to make a couple of changes at half-time. Not because the team's not playing well. The team's been excellent in this episode. But we are going to throw on Stanislas and Gnabry. So I just want to just want to try him out, you know. So see how they get on. The camera is currently flashing, saying low battery. So if it does run out, I do apologise. Apologise. I often say this with these kind of recordings. It's only it's usually does it for four to five minutes and then it dies. But uh, we're going to take off Menes and we're going to chuck on Stanislas and we're going to bring on Gnabry for Ben Arthur. Some people might think that's strange, but Gnabry was so incredible for me yesterday on my main account. I'm really looking forward to see if he can do the same again. And Stanislas is six foot. He's got a bit of pace. Why not just throw on, throw him on up there? Get rid, get rid, get rid, get rid. No, the fortune. Oh, for God's sake. It's 2-2 and it's such a shit goal. Just fell to him from the corner and Lukaku's pounced on it. It may be a ball score kick, but let's be honest, it's wank. Jesus Christ, we just can't deal with any corner for this chance we get. Good ball. First time, really well played. We could have the return on here. We could have the return on up top. We've got to play it now. We have played it now. It's Gnabry of all the people. Come on, Serge Gnabry. Oh, yes, it's 3-2, lads, in Gnabry. I said this in the play review yesterday, his finishing is absolutely unbelievable. His finishing and shooting in general is fantastic. I could have easily, I almost did panic for a second, but we left it quite late and he just side foots it past the keeper, calm as you like, and we take a 3-2 lead on the break from his own corner, which is justice, well it's not justice, but he's been bossing us from his own corner, so it's quite ironic really, but 3-2 up, come on lads. Can I to bring it forward? Oh, I, I, actually, I actually love Gnabry lads, he's, come on. Come on. We're just going to square this one. Let's not be too selfish here. This should tie up the game. It does tie up the game. It's 4-2. I swear to God. Gnabry is fastly becoming one of my favourite players this FIFA. That in form is just incredible. He's so good. Just drifts past players so easily on his first game for us. On his debut. On at half time. He's already bagged a goal and an assist. And hopefully that should wrap up the game. It's play with the goal. He's also had a very good episode. And there's the final whistle, lads. The camera's just run out before this game finished. We get three wins out to three wins in to three wins out. Did I say that right the first time around? It didn't sound right. But three wins out to three in today's episode. Absolutely superb. Doesn't get any better than that. Not only that, but Gnabry. I mean, completely forgot about this goal. Ben Arthur, what a free kick this was. Keeper didn't even dive until it had gone past him. But yeah, great debut from Gnabry. A goal and an assist. I swear to God, he's, he's like... Becoming one of my favourite players is FIFA, like I mentioned when he scored that goal, it might be when he said I don't remember, but uh, pick up 523 coins for that game, and we also now put ourselves on the brink of promotion, you can see it was, it was a close game, but we edged it, we definitely deserved the win, we are now on 13 points, it's uh, 14 to get promotion and 17 for the total, and we've got 4 games left, so really, if we didn't get promoted this season, it would be a bit of a disaster. But that pretty much rounds up today's episode, lads. Like I said at the start, if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you're new around here. And don't forget, click that little notification bell. Send me a picture of it and I will retweet them. Have a fantastic night, lads. I'll speak to you all in tomorrow's video. Need you out. Yo, his niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free. It costs nothing. Peace.